Hello, my name is uh, Mr Humphreys. I'm the Head of Hospitality Catering at uh, Maidley Academy and at Thomas Telford School. And today I'm going to talk to you about the sixth form course that we offer if you're interested in studying hospitality and catering. Okay, the course we offer at the school is the BTEC Level 3 Subsidiary Diploma in Hospitality. Now, the great thing about this course is it gives you a good wide overview of the, of, the, um, of the industry in general. The units we study on the course are Unit 1, the Hospitality Industry, which is a core unit. Customer Service, which is a core unit. European Cuisine, Asian Cuisine, Alcohol Beverage Service and planning and managing a hospitality event. Assessment is carried out for the course, either through internally based coursework or practical observation. You'll probably be glad to hear there are at this point no external exams in the qualification. Okay, so the entry requirements for the course are six GCSEs at uh, grade four or above, including maths and English. Um, a food qualification is um, would be useful but it's not essential. Okay, um, on completion of the course um, many of my students would consider like going to university. Um, the UCAS points for the course, should you achieve a merit you'd achieve 32 UCAS points. So obviously very useful even if you choose not to go into hospitality and catering as a career. Um, many of my students go on to finish the course, don't go to university, go straight into, uh, into employment. And roles that they've gone into have included apprentice chef, um, a trainee manager at a local hotel or restaurant, bar supervision, um, trainee manager, again, could be catering establishment or could be in a local hotel. Um, some have gone on and looked at the armed forces, for example, the Navy and the Royal Logistics Corps in the Army. Um, some have gone on to restaurant supervision, conference and banqueting supervision and hospitality and events supervision. Okay, um, you probably want to hear about the practical elements of the course, and so I'm just going to talk about three of the uh, three of the optional units that we do. Um, we've got European cuisine and Asian cuisine. Now, in both these units, uh, you've got to research and find out a little bit about the, the cuisine in, in six different countries. Same for European cuisine as Asian cuisine. So you're going to look at six different countries for each unit. You're going to find out a little bit about their food, what types of things they cook, what kind of commodities um, they have, and what kind of crops grow there. Um, you're going to find out a little bit about the sort of equipment that they use and then you're going to research six dishes for each of those units and you'll go away research them um, and you're going to develop those recipes you might change them a little bit and you're going to cook them in an assessment and that's carried out um, uh, as a practical assessment which will be observed and feedback be given to you so in those units you're going to be expected to look at these really look at these key recipes from each of those countries look how you can develop them and improve them and then present them and evaluate those dishes. So both really interesting units and they'll really focus on developing your cooking skills. Okay, the big unit that we do as well is planning and managing hospitality event. And this is a really good experience because in this unit you get to organize your own event. You choose the theme, you market it, you sell it, you get the customers. Um, then you've got to sell this event to me, say, yep, yeah, okay, that's, that's what we want to do. And then you've got to go to younger students, Key stage four, you've got to recruit a team from there and basically it's your event, you run with it, you get the customers um, and you know at the end of the day then you get the feedback and you evaluate it and the success of that event, your, the success of that unit is based on how successful that particular um, event goes. Okay, so as part of the department, we've got um, you know some really uh, some good resources in our training kitchen, which is you know got some of the some state of the art equipment in it, including um, things like rational ovens. And we've also got access to a conference and events room, which we're going to use, which you could use to um, plan and manage and run your hospitality event, which can include a working bar in there. Okay, I hope this has given you a good oversight into the hospitality course that we run at Maidley Academy. If you've got any further questions, please don't hesitate to, uh, to go on the school website or contact us through email. Thank you.